And now it's time for a little geography review. World geography. Now let's look at the difference between continents, countries, and states. A continent is one of Earth's seven main divisions of land. The continents are, from largest to smallest, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. A country is a geographical territory within the given continent, wherein many countries make up most of the world's continents, except for Australia, which is a country and a continent in and of itself. North America, as an example, has the countries Canada, the United States, and Mexico, where South America is comprised of many smaller countries. Same with Africa, Europe, Asia. Antarctica is in a whole nother definition by itself. And a state is an independent territory with a government, a population, and sovereignty in a country. Like the United States of America has 50 states within the country, the United States of America, within the continent of North America. A little bit of fun. Can anyone guess what continent this is? It's the least populated continent in the world, Antarctica. And how about this continent? Can anyone guess what it is? This would be the smallest continent in the world, of course, Australia, broken up into six territorial states, Western Australia, the Northern Territory, Southern Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria. Maybe we're a little more familiar with this general shape and what continent this might be. This is the continent Africa. Africa is comprised of many individual countries. And can we guess which continent this is? This is the largest continent in our world. And that would be Asia. This is the continent of Asia with over 30 countries, 30 individual sovereign countries in the world. Perhaps we're a little more confident and or recognizable what this continent is. Maybe the shape of the boot here at the bottom gives it away. Yes, the Italy with a boot-shaped country within the continent of Europe. Again, just like Africa and Asia, over 20 individually sovereign countries comprise the continent of Europe. And our second to last continent, can anyone guess what this continent is by shape? If you guess South America, you would be right. South America is comprised of 14 sovereign countries within its continent and connects uh, just at the northwestern edge of Colombia to the continent of North America. And as you guessed it, this shape represents the continent of represents the continent of North America. North America is comprised of three major countries. That would be Canada to the north, the United States here in the center, and Mexico to the south, as well as the countries of Central America. That would be your Panama, your Puerto Rico's, and much smaller countries than Mexico, the U.S., or Canada. And the five world oceans that help make up the rest of the mass of Earth outside of California and the west coast of the United States, Canada, and Mexico, as well as along the west coast of South America, we have the Pacific Ocean. In between North America and South America on the west and Africa and Europe on the east, we have the Atlantic Ocean. In between Africa, Asia, and Australia, forming this little triangle area here, we have the Indian Ocean. To the north of most of the land masses on Earth, we have the Arctic Ocean. And to the south, we have the Southern Ocean. And it appears that we're ready for just a little bit of a quiz. 
Yes. Right now you're going to be quizzed on what the seven continents and five oceans of the world are. The quiz is worth a whopping 10 points, but every correct answer is extra credit. So everybody starts and ends the test with full credit. The hope is that you start this year with an A++, a little bit of a bump. And here's a complete world map for those of you keeping track at home of the seven continents of the world and the five major oceans.